Okay, so hello everyone. Where did we stop our last video? We said solving a homogeneous linear high order differential equation is like solving a big jigsaw puzzle right so you want to solve this big jigsaw puzzle you want to find the pieces of this jigsaw to do that so same in a homogeneous differential equation you have to find the correct pieces then you take the linear combination and present the final general solution okay so in the example problem that we saw in the last video we had pieces given to us as x cube and x to the 4 now I say they have to be the correct pieces and I claim that I say that this x cube and x4 is in fact the correct pieces. This correct pieces of the solutions, the collection is we, we called it the fundamental set of solutions. Okay, so this y1 is 1, y2 is the fundamental set of the solutions of this homogeneous differential equation. Okay, so that comes with the idea that they have to be correct pieces. So what did what does it mean to become to become correct pieces? What does it mean to be a fundamental set? What are the things you need? Well, there are three characteristics you need. Okay, so let's list them. The three characteristics are first how many pieces so if you want to solve the jigsaw puzzle you have to have correct number of pieces as i described in the last video so the number of pieces should be equal to what can you remember to it should be equal to the order of the differential equation which is let's call n so second order differential equation we need two solutions third order differential equation we need three pieces fourth order four pieces likewise the second condition is that they have to be solutions. You cannot, when a, when a differential equation is given to you, you cannot say, oh, I need, let's say you are given a third order differential equation, okay? Uh, then you cannot say, well, I'm going to pick three random functions that I know from my calculus class. Let's say um, e to the x, sine x, cosine x. There we go, three pieces. That's it. No, right? You have to have the correct pieces and they have to be the pieces of the jigsaw that's what i mean let's say you have given two uh, jigsaw pieces you and your brother have two pieces okay so uh, two jigsaws and you're gonna pick uh, uh, two different jigsaws you're gonna pick pieces from your brother's one and try to complete your one that does not work right if you want to uh, complete to get a tree and if your brother have a jigsaw that uh, present a car you cannot fit the pieces of a car into pieces of tree. So they have to be the pieces of the jigsaw. So they have to be, in fact, solutions of the differential equation. So that's what I say. That's why, why I said they have to be solution pieces. And you have to have n solutions. Okay. The third one is that, let me explain it to you again from the jigsaw. So you want to f uh, finish up this jigsaw. So what you're going to do is you're going to photocopy your one of your jigsaw pieces. Okay. And then you're trying to fill it. That does not work, right? You have to find the distinct jigsaw pieces that fits into the certain, certain areas that is needed to be fit. Right? So they have, they should not be copy of each other. What do I mean? What is the word that we use for not copy? Linear independent solutions. Okay. So in the previous, e oops, in the previous example, we saw, I said x cube is also a solution. But 1000 times x cube is also a solution, right? So you cannot say 1000 times x cube and x cube is the fundamental set because these two are linearly dependent copy of each other okay but you should not have copy of each other you should have linearly independent set that is why x cube and x to the 4 is in fact the fundamental set of solutions of this differential equation because they are linearly independent x cube and x to the 4 are linearly independent okay all right so three things needed to be uh, uh uh, satisfied if you need a fundamental set of solutions and it makes sense right all three conditions make sense if you think about it a little bit 
now let's do an example it's best way to learn is to do examples so here we have this differential equation on the interval i and we are given two functions and they say is this uh, create a fundamental set of solutions so right now we have functions we have to check whether they are solutions so let's check the three conditions first order should be equal to the pieces number of pieces so here the order is two right y double prime how many pieces are given to us two pieces so the first condition satisfied second condition is these two in fact should be solutions so let's write down the differential equation okay all right so one piece is e to the negative 3x so it should not be a function in fact it should be a solution of the differential equation of course it's a function but it should be a solution how do you verify that this is a solution of this differential equation how do you check whether it is or it is not are you going to solve this well we haven't learned it yet but how do you verify we substitute that into the differential equation and see whether the left hand side is equal to going to be equal to the right hand side so let's see so to substitute y is e to the negative 3x and y prime is going to be if you differentiate e to the negative 3x it's negative 3 e to the negative 3x if you differentiate once more we get negative 3 negative 3 9 e to the negative 3x okay all right so let's substitute so 9 e to the negative 3x that's y double prime minus y prime is negative 3 e to the negative 3x now minus 12 times y is e to the negative 3x now this is left hand side let's see whether we get right hand side or not so let's simplify 9 e to the negative 3x here negative negative plus 3 e to the negative 3x minus 12 e to the negative 3x this is 12 e to the negative 3x minus 12 e to the negative 3x so this is cancel out 0 so yes y is 1 is equal to e to the negative 3x in fact a solution we verified it okay all right that's not enough we have a second solution given possibility y is equal to e to the 4x okay let's see is it e to the 4x yes so we have to verify that let's see okay so now we find the y prime which is 4 e to the 4x y double prime is 16 e to the 4x if you differentiate once more now you substitute so y double prime is 16 e to the 4x minus y prime is 4 e to the 4x uh, minus 12 times y is e to the 4x so here 16 minus 4 is 12 e to the 4x 12 e to the 4x minus 12 e to the 4x is 0 in fact so left hand side is equal to right hand side so e to the 4x is also a solution okay so we verify the second condition because e to the negative 3x e to the 4x are not just random functions they are in fact the solutions of the differential equation all right so next final condition is make sure e to the negative 3x and e to the 4x are not copies of each other that means they have to be linearly independent how do you check that they are solutions now okay you find the Vronskian. so e to the negative 3x here e to the 4x here so if you differentiate e to the negative 3x it's negative 3 to the negative 3x derivative of e to the 4x is 4 e to the 4x now if you take the determinant let's see what we get 4 e to the 4x times e to the negative 3x from here minus e to the 4x times negative 3 to the negative 3x okay so e to the 4x times e to the negative 3x so you have to multiply these two functions but you add the exponents using the product uh, using the uh, power rules okay so this will be e 4x plus uh, negative 3x is x 4ex minus here minus minus plus okay minus minus plus 3e to the 4x plus negative 3x is x so this is 7e to the x now this is the Vronsky and the interval that is given to us is negative infinity to infinity so is this Vronsky and zero on this interval for every x no right this Vronsky is not zero so these two functions are linearly independent 
right? Because the Vronsky n is not zero for each and every x in the interval. There we go. So all three conditions satisfy. So these two are in fact a fundamental set. Of, these two creates a fundamental set of solutions for the differential equation that is given here. Okay. All right. Makes sense. So three conditions: number of pieces. They have to be solutions. You have to verify each and every one of them. Okay. I know it sounds a lot of work. third you have to make sure if the second condition satisfy you have to make sure that they are linearly independent okay so let's see another example quickly so here this is the differential equation and these two are given pieces to us okay so this is second order and two pieces are given so first condition satisfy next thing is to see whether they are solution so let's substitute e to the 2x to the differential equation so how do we do that so e to the 2x you differentiate to e to the 2x you differentiate twice now you substitute it into the differential equation y double prime minus 6y prime plus 8y is equal to 0 so here you can do it do it by as an exercise so e to the 2x is in fact a solution but e to the x let's see e to the x okay let's see what happens e to the x y is e to the x y prime is e to the x y double prime is also e to the x right if you differentiate now if you substitute it into this equation y double prime is e to the x minus 6 times y prime is e to the x plus 8 times y is e to the x so if you add these three uh so e x minus 6 e to the x is minus 5 e to the x plus 8 e to the x is 3 e to the x So on the left hand side when you substitute you get 3 e to the x but on the right hand side you have 0 so 3 e to the x is not equal to 0 left hand side is not equal to right hand side so what does that mean e to this x is not a solution e to the 2x was a solution but we verified e to the x is not a solution of this differential equation it is not a piece of it is not a piece of this differential equation okay correct solution piece so second condition did not satisfy okay so we stop there and we say e to the 2x and e to the x cannot create a fundamental set of solution okay it cannot okay you have to find the correct other piece e to the 2x looks good but you have to find the other one here's a final example here this is a third order differential equation right why three primes now we are given two functions so do you think they will create a fundamental set of solutions no because right away you can see you don't have enough pieces it's third third order so you need three pieces we are only given two pieces e to the 3x and e to the x okay so not enough pieces you stop there and say this is not a fundamental set of solutions Okay, so try to understand this. So, given a nth order homogeneous linear differential equation, you need n pieces. Okay, then after you get that n pieces, what do you do? You verify that pieces are in fact solutions. You do this for each piece. Try to substitute that each piece into the differential equation and see whether left hand side is equal to right hand side. If it is for all pieces, then you are good. Then you check whether they are linearly. independent or not okay so if your piece is not a solution that is not a fundamental set of solutions if your pieces are solutions but they are linearly dependent then also it's not a, a fundamental set of solutions okay all right so once we got that correct pieces for example in the first example we found out that e to the negative 3x and e to the 4x in fact create a correct piece Uh, are the correct pieces so what is the general solution then for that differential equation c1 e to the negative 3x plus c2 e to the 4x right so we can write this solution if you have correct pieces if you have the fundamental set of solutions okay all right so then i will probably see you in the next video thank you very much